All right, let's try out this uh, force pull thing. Um, I'm gonna do R as the key, and uh, I think I'll do a custom event, and this is going to be force pull. And set timer by function name. Set it up so you have to hold down the key. I'm not sure what the time should be yet, so. Your timer. Okay. So basically, what we want to do is first do a line trace, right? Um, so I'm gonna add an arrow component. I'm gonna put it like right out here. All right, and let's do line trace by channel. <laughs> we wanna get our arrow component, get world location, that's going to be our start. And we want to get forward vector. Oops. Uh, we want to multiply by a float. And this is going to be our distance. Let's do like a crazy distance because we're Jedi. And end. Okay. So that's going to be our trace. Uh, now let's break hit result and I'm just going to open my browser here sorry one second I'm looking something up real quick. Okay, so if we want to do this on a character, what we can do is let's do it on one of my AI enemies here. I'm not sure which enemy that is. Let me check. AI logic. AI test. No, let's do AI AI melee C. Okay. So I don't want to do him. Cast do AI melee C. Plug that guy in. Okay. Uh, so as long as that's true, uh, let's do a branch. Um. Get actor location let's get the arrow get world location I'm not we'll see if this works or how it works so I'm gonna subtract both of these okay and we want to get the vector length of that <clears throat> um Let's do less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, and let's do like 125. So they have to be a good distance away from us. Okay. Um, and then if true, launch character. And that character is going to be this. And we're going to launch him like that. So let's try it out, I guess. Uh, but first, I want to disconnect like the attack and stuff in here so I don't die <laughs> um, let's turn that off I 
Okay. Um, I didn't turn on. Okay, so first I want to attach this to our camera so it turns. And I also want to. Core duration. And I also want it to ignore. No, we should be good. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so it's not hitting him. Um, let's see. Look at the collision. Okay, so it's ignoring a visibility trace channel. So we want to block that, but ignore camera. Oh, okay, so it does work, sort of. Um, I'll disconnect the thing there. So he needs that, but let's, I guess let's just disconnect, chase, and wander so he stays in one spot so we can actually test this. Alright, so that works. Can pull him towards us. You know, I think I want to try this instead in a first person project. Oops. Ah, I opened Steam on accident. What's that? Close. All right, uh, library launch. Be a little bit easier to work with than a first person. But so so yeah, so characters that code will work uh for um yeah, I'm sorry. That code will work for uh pulling characters, basically just launching the character um but doing a a minus value so it pulls that character towards the player. Um, and we can essentially do kind of the same thing. Um, but in here, so I don't want to. I hate I, I hate comic box boxes so much. I really do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use the fire event. And we're just going to rebuild that real quick. Um, oh, copy that. And it seemed that 0.05 value was pretty good. So clear time of my function name. Pull. So it clears it. Okay. Um. Get rid of you, 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 you.
And we can use the sphere as the point, I guess. Oh, no, you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to use an arrow. A really tiny arrow, apparently. Yes, I know it must almost have a target. What are you talking about? Oh, this. I hate all this integrated VR stuff. It drives me crazy. Okay. So like if I wanted VR, I would build it myself. Get it out of there. Alright. Okay. Multiply again. And this is pretty much the standard way you will always do line traces. You'll just you'll have a certain point that you'll want the line trace to be kind of triggered at. Um, let's do one frame. And that should be good. Break. So now what we can do, let's do it for like just regular objects. Um, Let's do is simu simulating physics. I'm gonna do a branch. Okay. <clears throat> and now we want to kind of do the math we did before, right? So get actor. Oh no, world location. Um. And we want to get, get the world location. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Get the world location of that. Subtract the two. Um, and I'm not, I don't think I'm even going to worry about that. Let's just uh, add... I don't know how I want to do this because the launch character I guess we could do a force maybe uh, edge impulse maybe the impulse direction let's see how that how that works Oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't want for objects, I want channel. Line trace. Channel. If you hold control and gla grab the input and drag it, It'll you'll be able to switch the inputs to a new obstacle there. Did I not hit component access none? Why are you accessing none? Okay. All right, so that works.
not necessarily straight with the crosshair, but works. Cool. Um, so we're getting a bunch of access nuns. So what you can do, um, let's just do like it is valid here. Go to plug in hit component there. And that should do it. And then the other method would be for characters. So what you could do is you cast. Uh, so, you know, cast to, let's just um, use first person character as an example. You know, you cast to the AI, and then you would do that launch character code. And then cast failed, you would do add impulse, and you would be checking for the simulating physics. So you would do that, do the branch after the cast first here. Um, uh, so yeah, I hope that helps. Thanks.